Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Lock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 18 Percentage and its Applications Exercise 18 D Question uh, 8. Right. So this one is Kunwar purchased a computer for 18,000 and a mobile phone for 10,500. On the computer, he lost 5% and on the mobile phone, he gained 17%. Find his total gain or loss percent. Right. So you see here, Kunwarp has purchased two different articles, a computer and a mobile phone. Fine. So uh, it says that he purchased computer for 18,000 and mobile phone for 10,500, right? And when he sold these, so when he sold the computer, he lost 5% on it. And when he sold the mobile phone, he gained 17% on it. Okay. So here you see that we need to find the total gain or the loss percent, right? You see here that it is asking the total gain or loss percent. This means what? That the gain or the loss percent on both of our articles combined together, right? So whenever you have two number or uh, multiple number of articles like two, three, four, five. So what we do is we add the selling price and the cost price of all of them together separately and then compare to find the gain or the loss. Fine. Same will be done here as well. Okay. So you see here that 18,000 is the cost price of our computer. Fine. So here the cost price of computer becomes what? Rupees 18,000. Oh, all right. And the cost price of the mobile phone. That is the CP of mobile phone. Right. Becomes what? Rupees 10,500. Right. So you see here that what do we have is two different cost prices, but in order to find the gain or the loss, we need one cost price. So what we will do is add both of them together. So the total cost price, total CP becomes rupees 18,000 plus 10,500, right? That is going to be rupees 28,500, right? So now you see here that uh, this is our total cost price. And now we need to know the selling price as well in order to find the gain or the loss person. Fine. How will we find the selling price? See here that it says that on the computer he lost 5%. So we will use the formula for finding the selling price. That is 100 minus loss upon 100 into cost price. And same will use for the mobile phone as well where it is where it has gain, where he has gained 17%. Fine. So we need to find the SP of our computer, right? So on the computer, he lost 5%, uh, right? So uh, 95, right? Upon 100. Okay. How, we, how did we get here 95? Because 100 minus the loss person. So we will subtract loss person from 100. That is 5 uh, 100 minus 5. So 95 upon 100 into the cost price. Now here you need to watch out. Don't put the total cost price here. If you are finding the selling price of the computer, you will put the cost price of the computer as well. Okay. Don't put the cost price of the mobile phone or of or the total cost price. Only the cost price of computer that is 18,000. Right. So let's cancel these two zeros. Let's cancel these two zeros. And now uh, 180 here multiply it by 95 so 0 0 4 900 here 0 9 8 so 72 and 7 so 9 7 16 fine so 0 0 9 and 2 that is 11 and 1 7 17100 becomes our total cost price right so this is our total uh, selling price sorry not the uh, selling price of the computer that is rupees 17100 this is the price after he lost 5%. All right. Now we will find the selling price of the of the mobile phone. Find the second article here. So mobile phone, the selling price of the mobile phone will be what? Now he gained 17% on the mobile phone. So 117 upon 100, right? We will add the percentage into 100. Again, multiply it by the cost price. And same thing here, the cost price should be of the mobi uh, mobile phone, not of the computer or the total cost price, right? So the cost price of the mobile phone was 10,500, okay. So 10,500, 
now let's solve this cut these two zeros cut these two zeros fine so 105 multiplied by 117 fine so 35 and 3 and 7 here and here we'll have 105 once again okay then again 105 so 5 5 3 8 7 5 12 and 1 so 2 and 2 right so this becomes what rupees 12285 right so now we know the selling price of the computer and the mobile phone as well so we need to find the total selling price now right total selling price will be the combination of this and this that is selling price of mobile phone with the selling price of computer right so the total sp or the selling price becomes what uh rupees now add them together 17100 plus uh 12285 right so add them up what do we get here 0585 here okay and 1 and 2 3 and 7 and 2 that is 9 okay and 1 and 1 so 2 so 29385 rupees right so this is the total selling price and this is the total cost price all right right so now we know the total cost price and the total selling price okay we don't have to care anything about the cost price and selling price of the mobile phone and computer so just uh, delete them erase them right now you see here that this is the cost price and the selling price we need to find the gain or the loss person we don't know if there is gain we don't know if there is loss so first find the gain or the loss now you see here which is greater cost price or the selling price selling price is greater right so sp is greater than the cp that is selling price is greater than the cost price so there will be what profit there will be profit right and what is the profit subtract this uh, uh, cost price from the selling price right so profit equals to sp minus the cp fine and that is what 29385 minus 28500 okay so let's see what do we get here uh 29385 right and 28500 so this becomes 5 8 13 5 is 8 and 8 minus 8 uh, 0 0 right so basically 885 in the end that is what we will get here rupees as well so this is our profit okay now we know there is profit we know the profit as well so easily we can find the uh, profit percent okay or the gain percent because we know profit we know the cost price as well and profit percent is always taken out on the cost price remember this is 885 right upon uh the cost price and the cost price is 28500 right multiplied by 100 okay so what do we do here simply cancel this okay and cancel these two zeros then 285 and 885 will be cancelled by 5 so this becomes 5 and 35 so 57 here and what does this become 1 and 177 here right So does this cancel? Let's try multiplying fifty-seven by three, right? So one and two, so fifteen and one, one seventy-one, right? So nearest is one seventy-one three times. So this means our mixed fraction, okay? Because this will not cut completely, so we will convert this into a mixed fraction. So three times we are multiplying, so we get one seventy-one. Now one seventy-one, one seventy-seven minus one seventy-one is going to be what? Six, right? uh 171 and right 6 upon this denominator 57 okay can this be simplified yes it can see 6 and 57 can be cancelled by 3 right so 6 goes 2 times 57 goes uh 1 and uh, 27 so 19 times right so now 2 and 19 cannot be cancelled because 19 is a prime number right so at last we get 3 whole 2 upon 19% right as our final answer right you can 
uh, write this down as the final answer all right and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourself and bye bye